Should I? Do you think I should do trees yeah. like? I'm Ryan Seamancrust. Yeah. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That I'm Ryan Seamancrust, and welcome to Come Climb With Me. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Here we have our inexperienced root setter, Elizabeth. Have you done anything before? A little bit. Um, I did a little like workshop with Impact, um, and then I did a day of setting at Block Fit as well. What's your confidence level right now? Through the roof. Ooh. Yeah. So basically, today, Elizabeth is going to get an hour and a half to set a block, but she will be setting against the pros. To make it a little bit harder, uh, Elizabeth gets to hand out some handicaps. Elizabeth, before we do that, what hold selection would you like to use? I would like the pink ones, please. So obviously, I'm going to give you the down climb oh. <laughs> So Joe has got your part chase responsibility for you, mate. Give you the flat holds. <laughs> I was gonna show, show ask the him and then give you, you the opposite. <laughs> time for the next card, which is the type of move that they have to set. Obviously, I didn't write anything easy down because that wouldn't be fun. So let's see what she picks. We've got no hands, clock, rose, paddle dino, palm down. <laughs> you can do you can do palm down. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all right, that's all right. Palm down, right? So you know, palm goes somewhere. Usually you use a volume or a big sloper, but you're about to sit down with down climb jokes. Toby can do a, you can you can do you can do paddle dining. Oh, lucky you, Toby! <laughs> sure. All right, they have an hour and a half to set these boulders. We'll get back to them once it gets going. <laughs> Guys, I have a one important piece of information. This climb has to be a V3 Max Four. V3 Max Four, Max V4. <laughs> I was saying some turd over there, Tross. Fucking Tross turd Shit, boulder. Jack, why do you think? Why? Because of the bad. Because of the bad, climate. Because no, he's just a bad, bad, bad setter. Bad everything. Bad his job. Uh, Hounzo's uh, fifth best route setter. I swear to God, I go lower down this list every time I film a bloody video. <laughs> what, not, move, what move are you setting again? I'm setting a palm down. Cool, so cool, because your palm goes down onto a hold, and you usually then like, pivot around that point. So it's either like a palm down rollover, which can be a bit of a dynamic catch, or it can be like a palm press going up. Obviously, I've got the best grips for the job. So the skeleton so far, I'm not sure about mm. this start move. We're ignoring that. But I think yeah. you've got this little foot here, and the palm is going to be all around this position here. Oh. And going up like that. Oh. See? Ah. It's already there. It's already there. This guy's killing it. Have we go. See? How was confidence level? High, always. Contestants, we have one hour remaining. One hour remaining. So this down climb, death trap. No, no, you know what? I've definitely seen worse things on real holds. <laughs> so I would say, actually, like top, tip top magoo. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, we've got. We start with a nice jog, and um, we're going to put this foot a bit higher to make the move to the pinch a bit um, easy, uh, a bit harder. Um, we want it to be a slightly feisty pop kind of move. Then we're gonna get like a Gaston to the left and big move up to the finish. That sounds pretty good. Is it going yeah. easier than you thought, or harder than you thought? Um, it's well, the setting element of it is fine, but um, in terms of just like adjusting the stuff to make it the right difficulty, mm -hmm. um, I'm needing B's help. <laughs> I'm I'm just getting involved because I can't help but get involved. And Elizabeth's actually doing a sick job on her own. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what happens when you get too many root sizes in. <laughs> well, what's the Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace, and making a website with Squarespace has just got easier. When creating a website with Squarespace, not only can you choose from a huge collection of pre-made templates, you can now also create your own custom template to suit your needs perfectly. With the new AI-powered Squarespace Blueprint, you can put in what you want, what kind of website you're going to be building, 
your company name and from that Squarespace will start taking you through the process of designing your own personalized template. It will give you personalized recommendations on what kind of landing page you might like that you can quickly go through and customize. You can then choose your own custom color scheme and fonts. Once I've finished with that, I then describe my new website to Squarespace and Squarespace automatically started generating me text to populate those pages. I could then choose the tone of that text so I could get my brand messaging on point from the get-go. Once I was finished with that, Squarespace created my website with all the different pages I wanted and it looked really good straight away. All I then need to do is just upload pictures and this literally took me about 10 minutes to create, which is totally mind-blowing. So if you're thinking of getting a website in 2024, look no further than Squarespace. Use the link in the description to receive 10% off your first purchase and enjoy the rest of the video. Left my car window ajar last night and they got rained on really bad. Oh, oh my chalk as well. Oh. <laughs> be, be, be free in Japanese gym, I reckon. <laughs> 10 minutes left, Toby. 10 minutes left. Thanks, screw. Yeah. Let's screw quick for me. Get, oh, he's going to get screwed, am I? Right. Make it obvious that it's been added. Let me, do the, yeah. let me do the countdown. Then I come down, he comes the down, then... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Drills down! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, he's sweating. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> One of the local setters here, Martin. His Instagram's here. Dude's a crusher. First boulder is Toby's boulder. I was given the paddle dyno by Elizabeth, but tough, tough in the, in the grade range. But pull on, get here, reach over, tippy toes to here, little pop, big, big. Grab the jug. Yeah. Do you, you think, uh, yeah, do you think it's on grade? Are you happy with what you've done? Do I think it's on grade? I'm actually well curious to see if it is from the, the pros in the house. Um, I was called a pro in this video, but I said yes to it under, I was intermediate. Duress. And I turn up, I've been branded a pro, but I'm gonna wait for, <laughs> wait for the pro opinion on the grade, yeah. Also, I've just realized that we gave the ginger guy ginger holds on the ginger wall, so it's on brand. Got blend it? in out here, yeah. What, uh, what um, do you name it? Oh, I just reeled through all of the names I got bullied with, but none are really that appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Red Head Redemption. Come on. That's actually Come banging. On. That's actually banging. All right. uh, yeah, simple finish, and then that's that. So we'll see how that goes. All right, who wants to climb first? Pretty good. It felt really improbable at first when I was there. I was like, oh, I'm never going to do this, and then jumped, and it was great. It's like four and a bit, four and a bit, but it's really hard to set a paddle at V3 ish, I think. <laughs> Have you? Go on, buttholes are in. Yeah, just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, take your time. Yeah. So, oh, nice. come on. Oh, so sick. That was great. Good stuff. Oh, 
for my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I really tried. I really did try. I'm <laughs> sorry. I think it's this foot. If that foot was just closer in, right? Yeah. Closer to the yeah. paddles, yeah. Yeah. and you're in, aren't you? There in a way, because you had it working really nicely, and then I, I was like, Well, it looks like you could be a bit more off balance for that move, and maybe you should move <laughs> a bit left. And you're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> But I got fixated on forcing the move, which maybe isn't what you should focus on when you're going for the lower end. Um, but cool, yeah, we we'll totally we'll can. I was, I, was, I was really excited for Elizabeth's first ever <laughs> paddle dino, but yeah, yeah you fucked I'm so sorry, <laughs> excluding people in the group. All right, off to Joe's boulder. <laughs> Yeah, I had the down climbers, axis down climbers. But you feel pretty good about it. I was, it was one of those things where you kind of, you put them on every set and you're like, they're always just there to come down. But you think, wow, I wonder what I could create with some down climb jugs. I've gone for a bit of a press. So your starting position is your palm on here, I've created a bit of a sloper here. Slip <laughs> <Because> scales, S5. <laughs> that's so that's ingenuity. palm here, yeah. you've got a little undercut there, and you sort of feet, I've made this feature here, this, this down climber volume. Foot goes there, palm up into the undercuts, and then you're just undercutting through here, side pulls in the corner, blast to the top, fun times all around. You confident about grade and uh, move? Yeah, I think so. I'm cool. feeling, I had a fun time. You know? Alright, let's see how it goes down. Alright. Right, we're on our final boulder. It's Elizabeth's boulder. Elizabeth's maybe third ever boulder ever. You start on this big jug of a heel, and then you do some little punchy moves, got a pinch, and then you've got like a Gascon to come across, um, and then a big move up to the finished jugs. Um, and you need to use a little foot there as well. I'm hoping that some tall people can't use this for cheap, but we'll see how it goes. The gear should be right because I can do it, so it's not going to be too hard. Um, but we'll see. I couldn't do that, but whatever, flex on me. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, who wants to go first? <laughs> But I'm gonna need this for the top. Yeah. Did I? Look at that. Belter. Where are my down climb jugs? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That was really nice. Quality. Actually done. Nice. Yeah, I wasn't bumping that much. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's get judging and let's get gossiping and then let's get to a winner. Swipe transition. Uh, what do you think of Toby's block? Yeah. I thought Toby's block was was really good. I mean, like a powder dino, you usually associate with like a really big wind up on a slightly overhanging wall, and then fast movement through some holds, catching end position. But where, where Toby had like a slightly slabby bit of wall, he's managed to create this kind of T3 first move, and then straight into like some power. And so I thought it was really, really good fun. Obviously it was a bit harder than yeah, yeah. hoped, but I think he had a pretty hard time, you know, to, to set that move at that grade. Within the confines of the game, as a contest to try and set within grade. Yay. Everyone's so nice. I'm giving them an eight out of 10. And the only reason that there's a point for having to tweak it, and there's a point for not being on grade. Other than that, it was really, really good. Had a really good time. So yeah, really good job, bang it. 
I will give it a seven because it was out of the grade range and I could only try half of it. I will probably give it a Six. It's a bit spanny at when we before we tweaked it. After we tweaked it, it was much better, but it just didn't hit the grade. And we minus the point, of course, well for me, because we tweaked it to make it easier for myself and Elizabeth. Elizabeth's bowler was really, really nice. She didn't have like a move to set to, which is sometimes kind of challenging, I guess, and she's not done much root setting, but. Her boulder actually flowed really, really well. It had my favorite move in it, which is basically shoulder to shoulder. So she's one points there. And it, it wasn't just left, right, left, right. It looked really good. The holds kind of were lining up in a nice way. So visually it was, it was good to look at. Um, I liked the little foot chip on the raised plate. She's done a really good job. And it was bob on grade wise as well. Easy, right? 10. Because I can't really fault it. So there you go. Elizabeth has smashed it out. Damn. So, I'm pretty generous today. Amazing hold choice. Don't know who you picked them. But uh, on par with grade, I think. Yeah, definitely on par with grade. Yeah, it was, there's no issues. Not really spanny. Everything was good. All the holds, I think, were pinned, which is good. Safety was on point. Could have used a bit of down climb jugs to get down, of course. <laughs> Uh, but we didn't have them, of course, <laughs> due to another climb. Other than that, 10. Elizabeth's was the nicest to climb of the bunch, I think. For that grade, it's got to be a, it's got to be a solid nine. Oh, hell yeah. It's got, it's got to be, there was nothing wrong with it. <laughs> there was nothing. Which would probably mean it's a, it's a 10, but we can't go too crazy out here. <laughs> we need progression for the series, don't we? we need, <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought Joe's bottle was really good. I was pretty impressed with how he made the down climb jogs look quite aesthetic. And the moves themselves were like really nice and flowy. And it was, I would say it was within the grain range as well. So I would give it a 10. Uh, I probably have to give it a, a 10. Good use of down climb jugs. Uh, no, take that back, nine. Sorry. What's the downgrade? Um, with the screw, uh, it was washered in, which is a bit dangerous. <laughs> As I set a tiny bit here and there, um, someone might pull it off. A big wad might just yank it off, take the whole ply out. Um, but other than that, climbed perfectly, on par with grade, I would say. Um, but other than that, no complaints. Um, I thought at first that his handicap was the biggest out of all of ours, but in hindsight, while I was like setting mine, I was like, I could really do with a down climb jog right now. <laughs> I was like, I think he did really well. I think the uh, the aesthetic was uh, my most thing I liked the most. It was it, it was sort of had a, a scaly theme throughout and climbing it felt just good, like, it's great. I was gonna like look through my options, like I don't know how to count to 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Joe, considering the situation, I reckon it's a solid. Hold up, Toby. Let's review the scores in the next scene. Welcome to Come Climb With Me. First episode done. If you like this format, comment down below. We'll make it more elaborate. Let us know. We got some prizes from Ray's Climbing, sustainably made climbing gear, and we got a nice North Face backpack. <laughs> I just wish you could put that in. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I not allowed to put that in? So let's get down to the scores, Johnny Dawes. In third place, we have the Ginger Crusader, Toby, with yeah. 21 points. I'll take it all day long. I think okay. that's fair. I mean, Toby did miss the. It was a cool boulder, but I think it was a little off grade, you would say. Well, I got disqualified and still got 21 points. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. That's and he made to me. So. <laughs> In yeah, second place is Joe with 26. Oh, so yeah. that means our winner is Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. Woo! Easy, easy.
Nicely done. Nah, nah. Nicely done. Stop. Rest in peace, dude. All right, guys. I hope you had fun. Subscribe. Do all that bullshit. All right. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.